No, give me my food and let me go. It just don't sit well with my soul, but it's good though. I can't do it, y'all, like for real. Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. It's your boy Larry, and I'm back again with another video. I feel like this is like crooked. I don't know. What's going on? Like, what's... What's tea? Y'all tell me why. Oh my God. <laughs> so, this was not how the video that I had planned for today. I was gonna go to Red Robin. I was gonna film myself, like, going out to eat by myself, which I've done it before. I've done it two times. I went to this barbecue place, and then I went to the Cheesecake Factory by myself. I don't know why, but like I just could not bring myself to go in there and just film and eat by myself. It was the, I think the problem was that it was so many people going in and out. Like it was so many people. And I already know that Red Robin like bumps on Fridays. I was trying to do it on Thursday when it wasn't so busy, you know? But Thursday I had got there, my camera was not cutting on because butter was dead. And I was like, okay, I'll do it Friday. And why did I sit in the parking lot? I was sitting in the parking lot. I was thinking about how I could do this, what I could do. It was just like, I could not bring myself to get out the car and go up to the hostess and be like, oh, can I get a table for one? Can I get a booth for one or whatever, you know? Cause number one, I felt like my inner thoughts was like, it's gonna be loud in there. People are gonna be having birthday parties and they're gonna be staring at you like while you're trying to record yourself and like <clears throat> stuff like that. So I just, I don't know, cause I've done this before. Maybe it's like a step back in my um, social anxiety a little bit. I think partly because the tripod I have is a little bit bigger than the one that I had before that I broke. I have to try to see if I can find that one. Find that one so I can, like, whenever I go out, I can use that one. Because I was using that one before. And those two times that I went out to eat, I didn't film. So that's probably a big contributing factor. But also, it wasn't a burger place that's, like, really popular um, here. But, yeah, I was going to do... <laughs> I was going to do that, but I got... I can't do it, y'all. Like, for real. Like, I was just thinking. I was like, I don't even feel like interacting with this lady. Like, I just didn't feel like interacting with people that much. Like, I really didn't. And tell you the truth, I didn't feel like dealing with people. I just wanted to get my food, eat it, and, like, film, interact with y'all. And that's it. I didn't want to deal with nobody else. But I would have had to because the place was bumping. <sighs> and it was. I'm pretty sure it was loud. I don't know. I just sound like I'm making excuses, but for real, I just, I don't know. My social anxiety was kicking bad. Uh, yeah, I was hungry, but it was like, I could just go through a drive through and get some food. But yeah, anyway, I just started off with a rant, but that's like the, my main point of the video. Like, I wasn't going to be like this. I was going to do a going to eat alone <clears throat> by myself. I will probably do that this weekend. I will probably do it this weekend, and that'll be next week's video. Um, but for right now, I went, oh my gosh, so I wasn't even going to get this. I was going to go get McDonald's because I seen that they had got the Shamrock Shake back. And one thing about it, if you know me, you know me, I am a crackhead for that Shamrock Shake. So when it's in, I'm in. So originally I was going to go to McDonald's, but child, tell me why on the way, I seen they had opened a new Chick-fil-A and it's like right around the corner from my house. Like it's close. I was like, hold on, let me just get some Chick-fil-A. Because the last time, I haven't had Chick-fil-A in a long time. Because the last couple times I got Dave's Hot Chicken. Which Dave's Hot Chicken, it's mid, y'all. It's just like they put some cayenne pepper and season it on top of the chicken. They don't really season the chicken. It was good. It was good, y'all. I'm not, I'm not lying that it, it was good. But it was like, after the second time, I was like, hmm. I mean, it's cooked. But it's like not as good as Chick-fil-A. It's chicken. So, yeah, originally I was going to go and get that but then I seen that new Chick-fil-A and I was like oh let me drive up this hill and see what it gives biggest Chick-fil-A I've seen it was huge but yeah that's what I got Chick-fil-A 
I got my um, frosted lemonade. If y'all have not had a frosted lemonade, y'all gotta try it. It's so good. I'm normally, like I said last time, I was gonna leave these alone because every time I drink it, it just don't sit well with my soul. But it's good though. It hit every time. So what I got was, I got the spicy delicious meal. Mm. Okay, one thing about the Chick-fil-A is, they was taking all day. And then, okay, I don't know, like sometimes I, sometimes I interact with people kind of mean and like I don't notice it until after the fact or I don't notice it until somebody tells me. And like I order my food, right? Waiting for like a while, com like compared to normal Chick-fil-A waiting time. Um, this is my spicy deluxe, it looks good. I waited longer than my normal wait time, and of course I got Chick-fil-A sauce. Like, if you're not eating Chick-fil-A sauce, then what are you doing? I waited longer than normal. Some people behind me got their food before I did, so I was already like, ugh. Like, okay now, y'all running out. So I pull up there. I finally time for me to pull up to the window, because before it was all backed up. And I get up there, and like, I'm waiting. The guy comes up to my window, on my window. He's like, hi, how are you doing today? And I was like, I'm doing all right. <laughs> and I was like, how are you? He was like, I'm doing just peachy. And I was like, okay. And it was like a pause. It was like an awkward pause. Cause I feel like I was giving off the vibes. Like I didn't feel like talking, but I'm like, I don't feel like talking because I've been waiting for my food for a while now. And I'm like, I just want my food. I had already had been sitting in the parking lot looking crazy. Like somebody that's trying to do something they're not supposed to be doing. Trying to get myself hyped up to go into this restaurant and eat. And now you want to sit and play in my face and ask me, how am I doing today? No, give me my food and let me go. He was like, how are you doing today? I'm okay, how are you? I'm just peachy. And I'm like, okay. <laughs> and then he was like, order for Larry? And I was like, yes. And then he started handing me the food, I grabbed it. I didn't even check my food. And normally I check my food every time I go to the drive through. I pulled off, I was like, I just didn't want the energy. And it was like, it was kind of like he was socially awkward, but he was also like, I don't know, bro. I don't know, I don't know, but it was, I don't know if I was being mean in that moment, but like, I was just like, dude, why are we doing all this talking? I just want my food, I just want to go. You trying to overcompensate because y'all was taking all day to make my food. Do better, let me stop, let me stop, let me stop. I should be happy that I was able to even get this food, that I able, that I even got my food. But it's just like, I just, I've been, I just got to work. I don't want to talk. I don't want to interact. I just eat my food so I can leave. That, that's it. That's freaking it. Mm -mm. Y'all. Mmm. This little the normal stuff is no joke. I don't have no friends here either, so. I legit do everything by myself. Rare occasion, rare occasions I do stuff with my coworkers. Like we used to do stuff, but we don't really do much no more. I don't know, we just fell off. It happens. Mm. But yeah, I do everything by myself. Grocery shopping, out to eat if I wanna go out to eat, drive through, everything. Doctor, by myself. Travel, by myself. Driving, by myself. Chick-fil-A sauce, by myself. <laughs> hmm. <laughs> I had this in a mini. That's good. Mm. I can honestly say, mm -hmm. Chick fil A might um, be better than, um, what that place called? Mm. Dave's hot chicken. 
It's this. This has more flavor. There's, it just has like this cayenne, this cayenne spice to it, the cayenne on top. And it's kind of like a, I don't know, it's not really seasoned. It's like just putting salt and pepper on something. And saying that's seasoned. This is seasoned. This has flavor. That, the bun's good on theirs. The coleslaw's okay. Their sauce is, their sauce is good. It's not a Swedish Chick-fil-A sauce. It's kind of like a more of a savory taste, savory uh, sauce. But um, Chick-fil-A, the flavors give. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Their fries give too. Now their fries, at Dave's hot. It's more like Cajun seasoning on top. Um. It's not bad. Mm. Mm -hmm. I don't know. It's just a different taste. But yeah. Like back to all those things. I'm talking like crazy, like in different directions and stuff. But yeah, living alone is crazy. You gotta do everything on your own. I know a lot of people like to romanticize that. <clears throat> and like everything but for me I don't really okay I'm I'm a I'm a I'm a loner when I'm at home but when I'm out it's like awkward like being by yourself and like <laughs> you know doing stuff I feel like I feel like since I came back from my trip it's kind of like harder because I was with my family and I was with them for like three almost four weeks so I kind of got used to not doing stuff by myself so now I'm like, oof. Because I went and got my own food. I went and got food by myself in the mall. And the, the, well, I didn't eat in the food court. I got my food to go. I went to go get it by myself, though. I don't know. It's interesting. I'm just going to keep on testing myself and pushing myself to, like, do more on my own. And not let my social anxiety, like, cripple me, you know? <laughs> because it's easy to do stuff when you're on the phone with somebody, too. But, hmm. I just think it's the, the filming aspect and being by yourself and, like, around a lot of people. Yeah. That type of thing. That vibe. So, this is what I got, though, yeah. Y'all. I got my spicy deluxe, I got my uh, frosted lemonade, got my fries, I got me a, um, a three piece um, tender for like later um, when I get hungry. I normally do that every time I go somewhere because whenever I go out to eat, I literally don't want to cook. I literally don't have, don't really think of like anything that, I mean I have food, but I don't want to cook. So I just got me something for later. <laughs> so yeah, but yeah. That's basically like what I wanted to talk to y'all about, like my video for today. I just wanted to like let y'all know <laughs> that this is kind of like the video that mm, we were, the video that it came up to be to this week. But I don't know. I gotta start getting into mindset that like I'm not alone along with my camera. I'm with y'all. Yeah, y'all are with me. And we just doing stuff together. As simple as that. But y'all excited for the weekend? I know some of y'all off Monday. It's a holiday. And I'm off on Monday, so I'm ecstatic. And I'm ready to take off for the weekend. Yes. But yeah, y'all. That's pretty much it for the video. Um, I just wanted to come and, like, I guess, de-stress myself. Like, talk to y'all about what happened <laughs> and like you know kiki because what i know i'm not crazy <clears throat> because who i mean people do go out to restaurants to eat by themselves but i don't know you gotta have like super strong grit and like 
you have to like not care about like whatever people other people are thinking or people look at you like yes there, I have a certain degree of that that like I don't care what other people think but I don't know it's just like awkward like I just feel like awkward and I feel like whenever I'm in a space or I go somewhere there's always somebody looking at me or there's somebody like there's always somebody looking at me or somebody talking about me like maybe it's me in my head I think it's probably me in my head and I should be like not really caring what they think or what they what they're talking about but normally there's always somebody but yeah y'all that's like my I guess that's my intrusive thoughts coming out <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I keep on saying, but yeah, y'all. It's like when you're on the phone with your with your family and you haven't been on the phone in a while. You keep on saying, but yeah, y'all. I'm gonna let you go, but you never hang up. So y'all just keep talking about stuff. I'm dead. <laughs> All right, y'all. I'm gonna let y'all go. I'm gonna finish uh, my Chick Fil A and I'm gonna chill out. More of like a mukbang type of video than anything. <laughs> I'm deceased. But yeah, peace out y'all, like, comment, subscribe, and show your boys some love. Peace.